Let me show you a creative way to summarize your points in a presentation. Let us say you just finished a presentation and you want your audience to recount the six salient points. First, on the slide, you show just the six icons that give them a hint about the points that were discussed. Then you ask your audience to remember the first point that you discussed. And once they answer it correctly, you reveal the first point and confirm their answer. Then you ask them to talk about the second point, And once they say the right answer, you reveal the second point. Like this, you would be able to engage your audience to elicit all the points that you had discussed. And with the visual cue that is shown with icons, you would be able to summarize your presentation in a memorable way. I'll show you how to do this from scratch. Let us go right in. I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The first step is to go to shapes. From basic shapes, let us pick up this one called as diamond. Let us hold the shift button down and draw a diamond like so. Let us go to shape fill and give this a bright yellow color. Shape outline, no outline. Let us create a duplicate and place it to the right. And let us go to shape fill, no fill. Shape outline, black outline. Next, I am going to insert an icon. Let us go to insert icons. You can choose an icon relevant to the summary point that you want to talk about. In this case, I am going to just pick up any random icon I see. I am going to place this right in the center. For good order sake, select everything and use align center, align middle option and press Ctrl G to create a group. Then let us select this frame, right click, send this to back and place this right behind the previous one. Then let us go to shapes and pick up the oval tool and draw a small circle like so. You can give any color you want. Let us choose some different color, maybe this red color. And then let us fill this with number one. And let us choose a much bolder font. In this case, I'm going to use Amasis MT Pro Black and increase the font size so it is very clear. Let us go to shape outline and say no outline. And then let us place this right in the center as well. The final thing is the text related to the first summary point. So this is the first summary point. Let us increase the font size to 20 so it is visible to everyone and then fold it, center align and then place it somewhere over here. Make sure that everything is aligned properly. Now it is time for animation. Let us select this yellow diamond. You can always move this slightly so you can see whether you have selected the right one or not. Go to animations and then go down and use motion path animation lines and by default it goes down. But we want this to end exactly above this text. So let me select this red dot, hold the shift button down and then make it just go till this point here. Perfect. Now the next animation is for this number to go from here to here. So let us select the number, go to animations and let us choose the same motion path animation lines. Instead of going down, let us let it go up by going to effect options and choosing the up option. And let us click on this red arrow, hold the shift button down and then bring it down exactly to that corner point. Then the final animation is this text reveal. So let us select the text and use a simple float in animation. Let us go to effect options and let it float down. Now let us go to animation pane. Let us have all of these happen with previous. So I'm going to select the first one and say on click. So on a click, all three animations are going to happen simultaneously. Now to make sure that everything syncs properly, I'm going to select all of these three animations and let us have this as 0.75 duration. And let us select only the motion path animations and click on the drop down menu, go to effect options and Reduce the smooth start and smooth end to 0 seconds and say OK. Now the final thing for us is to bring this diamond to the front. So let us select this diamond and bring it to front. Now we have got our animation in place. Let us go to slideshow. This is how it shows on the slide. On a click, I reveal the first point like this. Isn't that beautiful? Now once I have the first animation in place, all I need to do is to place it exactly where I want it on the slide. Then press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then place it right next to the previous one and then keep hitting Ctrl D till the time we have all the relevant points on in place. Now, once I have that, I can select the center icon and then right click and use change graphic from icons and I can choose a different icon which is relevant to the point that I'm going to talk about. Maybe I can you choose this map and say insert. Now we've got the relevant icon here and I can always say this is the second summary point and you know exactly how to adjust all these text elements and everything. Now, what I had shown you is available as a ready-made template in our new CEO pack. Yes, we have upgraded our CEO pack recently with 200 new animated templates. If you had already purchased CEO pack earlier, that is, 
if you are a customer after 2020, you'd be able to go back to the download section and download this new CEO pack instead of the earlier one. There you would be able to see some very interesting animations like this, all ready-made and these are bound to make your audience go wow with your presentations. The templates are about lists, timelines, processes, concepts, metaphors, etc. This is an exhaustive list of beautiful animations and the variety will definitely surprise you. So if you are already a CEO pack customer or if you have already owned CEO pack one and two, that is CEO bundle, or if you are a customer of our all-in-one bundle, you would be able to download this new pack with updated animated templates. And of course, if you have not purchased our CEO pack yet, I highly recommend that you click on the link in the description box below the video, come to this page, take a look at the various templates available here and download this and you will definitely see a difference in the way your presentations are perceived. If you like this list animation, then you will really love this playlist that we have put together, which compiles a lot of list animated tutorials. I will leave a link to the first tutorial here. So you click on the link right now on your screen and watch this first video. I'll see you inside that next video.